Okay, so I believe I got the jack stands where I want them. I got the two supporting the, the rear part of the frame, the other two supporting the cab, the rear part of the cab, and the other two are supporting the front. So, see the, the jacks, the, I got a jack under there underneath the, fr the front ca cab mount on both sides. So, whenever I do cut this frame, uh, those jack stands will actually hold uh, the front instead of having it like fall down, like having it like fall down <laughs> to the ground, which would be horrible. Uh, so now, basically what I could do is I can take the template and figure out where I need to put that. So I also got the, uh, I do remember watching the video of the jack right here in the middle. So whenever I do cut that, I could just lift this up and just slide it backwards. So, you know, this is probably going to take me a lot longer than what uh, the, the video says, because just because... Um, I'm probably going to spread this around for a few days, probably a whole week actually, because I will be going to work here in, in, in about two days, so, uh, and, we'll, and I will go ahead and record all this, every bit that I can here for you guys. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look, I'm going to study the guy a little bit more. I got, I got to figure out where to put the templates at, so hang in there. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to postpone this uh, for today. Uh, can't seem to find my uh, my uh, reciprocating saw anywhere. I had it in. I thought I had it in here at one point because I got to. I have to cut certain points of this template because I got this little ridge on my frame. Uh, I have to cut this part out here that's been laser cut. Because that part of the frame right there, it's got that little lip that sticks down. And I'm, I need my reciprocating saw to, in order to uh, cut that. But for some reason, it's, it's not, I can't find it anywhere. Uh, I've looked everywhere in my house, in the garage, and I just, I can't seem to find it anywhere. And I used it in my house, uh... A little while ago but I can't find it or I used it like several weeks ago but I can't find it for some reason now it'll be in here but it's not yeah. I'm at uh, I know that Walmart sells the the cheap brand for really cheap I'm just gonna go in there and grab it I guess since I can't find it in here it's kind of a bummer that the one I had is gone so, but anyway, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go get that probably tomorrow and uh, we will continue this project. Okay, okay. so to be continued here, um, this is a, about a week later. Uh, so when you wanna cut this frame by using the, the brothers method here, there are some um, exhaust hangers still hanging here, like right here. So this this is the spot where I need to put the uh, the uh, template, but I can't because well there was two um, rivets there which I already I started to grind off, um, and I actually started using the the old air hammer, but I think I'm gonna I need to grind these off just a little bit more because uh, they're. The rivets are still kind of over, you know, they're kind of overlapping the uh, uh, the frame here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on grinding these off right now. All right, so you notice here in the template that they give you to do this. Um, there's a number one and the uh, another number one right here. This is what you bolt, you initially bolt to the frame to mount this up. This is a 5 16th hole, and the same here. So, now if we go, if we go underneath here, without hurting yourself, go underneath here. 
All right, so as you see, I got the exhaust mount, uh, mounting bracket holes cleared up. I got the rivets out, and uh, right. basically, going here it's kind of hard to do with with one hand. Um, Okay, so here you go. Here's this. Basically, want to find out where your hole's at. It's really hard to do. Um, yeah. All right, see right there. Okay, there's your hole. You want to make sure that's basically aligned. You can probably scoot it over just a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, but the unfortunate thing is in here, there's no hole for that for the other one, and there's no hole at all near near where that hole's at anywhere. And I know it's in the right spot because this one's there, and the end of the template is nearly to the uh, cab mount there so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to drill take a 5 16th drill bit and drill right where that one hole is i'm going to have to do it on the other side and i'll put the bolt in here where the number one is okay and as you can see here i drilled out the uh, second hole there 5 sixteenths and uh, put the bolt in there where we're supposed to go. It's right up against the mount. It's the same way on the other side. Uh, my frame does have this uh, relief hanging out there, so I had actually had to, you know, it's got a laser cut uh, notch that you can cut out there. So I'm gonna go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go. I think you're supposed to drill the the one eighth. Um, holes right here on this side and I'm going to get those drilled in real quick before I go to the other side and, and uh, start on that side. So I am currently, I am currently to the point where all the jack stands are supporting every spot where they're supposed to be sitting or every point of the frame to hold it up. I have the two outside jacks there. Um, under the outrigging part of the cab um, with like bricks um, help support that are up there supporting the cab now I'm to the point now where I basically get the saws all and I chop the frame in half I mean this is kind of the, the scariest part only because you know uh, you know there's no turning back <laughs> after I make the cut once I make that cut, that's it. I'm gonna have to go through it. I'm gonna have to make turn actually turn this into a shore bed for 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 good. And I, you know, I have several people at work tell me, "Oh, you don't know what you're doing. You know, you're messing around with things you're not supposed to, and all that stuff." And but you know, I'm gonna prove them wrong, and we're going to uh, get her done. So. Hopefully, uh, by the next clip, everything will be well, and uh, we'll get this, uh, the, the, the back part of the frame moved back. Unfortunately, it, it is really cold outside, and I have the garage shut, but I will go ahead and open the garage door just to move this back, and uh, to look at this for now. I'm not going to, after I cut this frame... I'm probably gonna take a break and actually go take a go take a nap, and I'll probably cut this video in half just to get this video out and show you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this chopped up. Okie dokie. So this is kind of the moment of the truth. Um, after uh, 
cutting through the frame, which is really easy, by the way. There's the other parts of the template. So I will now attempt to roll this back. Hopefully. Should be able to just, uh, maybe like drop this down, perhaps. Get rid of it. Don't need that. Cause I still have the cab mounts in there. And so I will need to drop this down a little bit. If I can, because I can't, because the front part of the frame is still bolted to the cam, cam mounts here. And so I'm unable to uh, get those rear cab mounts out. So I'll get these next ones out. And basically the frame is being supported by this jack here. So all right, let's see if I to see if I load this down. See? Alright. So now, take these out. Only when I get my finger smashed. Oh, the same. It's not wanting to come out. Okay, try now. There you go. See how easy the next one will be too. Okay, now I'll put these with the other ones, and I'll go on the other side because I'm right-handed. I'm outside here. And then we'll just kind of, if we can, here, let's, uh, it's kind of hard here. Let me put you guys on the, on the stand. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. All right, we will, uh, See the, the the front part of this cab, the, the the part of the frame is being supported by the three ton jack. So basically, what I have to do is kind of move this back a little bit. I got guide this so. that something and so now uh, I got the cab supported by that the, the two back jacks and it's bouncing on the two front jacks the th two three time jacks this is really scary you know but it is what it is so Let's see how straight I got these cuts. It's pretty straight. It's really not that bad. Uh, this ain't so bad either. It's just that little dimple thing here. It kind of went down at an angle a little bit. So, but I think we'll be fine. Well, that's, that, you know, this is getting cut off anyway. I'm gonna be cutting, this is the next one here. You just cut it off on both sides. And I'll be cutting, cutting that off right there too. I'll be taking this off. So I'm gonna continue on here guys. It's pretty easy. 
Okay, one thing I might add, since I since I do have this off, pop, right now would be a good time to uh, like all this uh, chipped paint here, like rust and stuff. I'm gonna use my wire wheel or something. I'm gonna get all this off. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smooth this out. You know, this is, unfortunately, you know, this is a part of these trucks. You know, but for the most part, this isn't so bad. This looks like this. This looks like this has been fiberglass back here, actually. But I ain't too worried about it, to be honest. Um, this is gonna be my truck. I'm not interested in selling it at all for a long time. This this actually is my, real nice. But you can really tell here. You can tell. I think this this corner was. Uh, I don't know if it had a hole in it or this has just been rusted a little bit extra. <laughs> but I'm going to use this time to clean this up. Get all this loose paint. And uh, I'll put a coat of primer on this or something. Alright, next step is... I already Actually, I already did it. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the uh, four drill section here. It says four drill. Um, it's got eighth inch holes, um, one on top, one on the bottom, and two here. And that's on both sides as well, over there. And the next step here is to go ahead and take a saw and cut this right off. And this whole section should fall off. Uh, I did make a little mistake here. I, I think I can easily fix. Um, as you can see here, see the angle? Uh, somehow it was it was cutting at an angle right there. This is the only thing only uh, Section that was affected here and here's the template over here All right, see how I messed that up there So this could easily be fixed actually um, I can go underneath, underneath there and cut this little section off of the frame right there or I could like You know I could just do a little section here I can cut a little section right here um, basically that will match this which I, I kind of I really don't want to do that I'd almost rather just go underneath there and uh, cut that section off that I messed up right there just a little sliver which I think I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna follow the template here on both sides and just go underneath there and do that right here so that's all I'm doing right here. I'm using a glove too because I get a lot of metal shavings. I keep getting metal splinters. Those aren't fun to mess with, to have. Well, it's not what I wanted to have happen. But. That what I wanted to have happen actually. It's for the most part straight. It's all good. Now we'll do the other side. I'm gonna put my other I'm gonna put my other glove on because the vibration is makes my hand feel like it's swollen. Doesn't really feel that good. These gloves aren't very good. <laughs> I actually got these gloves from work and they're not that good. Oh. Alright, let's do this again. One more go here. I can grind into that off really quick.
also when you are uh, using a grinder, try not to grind your finger. <laughs> All right, so as you see here, I got that cut over here. I'm, I'm laying on the ground. Um, I drilled the 3 8 holes over there where I drilled the eighth inch holes, and now I got to come over here, under here, and see these the four holes here. Those have got to be drilled out. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something a little bit different from the directions. Okay, I'm going to drill out the uh, two bottom holes. Uh, that one right there. And that one over there. But the two top ones, see how this uh, outrigger thing here, this cross member, or whatever you call it, is in the way? So when I drill those holes, I drill them like kind of upwards. And and they're, I know when I, uh, if I were to drill them from this side, they're not going to match up. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to drill the two bottom ones and then I'm actually going to go get the template or the actual uh, piece of steel that, that's going to be permanently in there. I'm going to temporarily bolt the two bottom ones up and then I'll drill in from the other side through the, the pre-cut holes. This way I won't have to worry about this thing being in the way. So basically I'm going to drill the two outside holes here, the two bottom ones from the outside from this direction and then the two top ones after I put the template in and bolt it in there temporarily. I'll drill it in from the other side. This way the holes will be straight and true and all that. Alright, so far uh, I'm getting there. Uh, I, got, I removed the, uh, the rear cam mount and the front uh, bed mount. Uh, all the holes have been punched out. Now I got it. What I have to do now is uh, take the template, both templates, basically the same. This laser cut here. This has got. To, this has got to go. Um, but the problem is, is that my only, my last uh, angle grinder, grinder, wheel is. It's. Uh, I need a new one, basically, because <laughs> the. Uh, I, I used it a lot to remove these rivets back here and it basically wore out my last uh, grinding wheel. So I need to go up to Ace Hardware. I'm going to go up and get a half inch drill bit, a couple grind, grinding wheels, maybe uh, another 3 8 drill bit, probably two more of those. And I believe that's it. I think that's it. So. I'm going to get that and uh, we're going to finish this off. Alright, so uh, I had the template up here and I already got the, uh, the passenger side rear cab mount mounted up there with all fastened up securely with the hardware. Um, I had the template up here and it basically had me drill two 1 8 holes right here and then I actually need to come back with a 3 8 drill to make them bigger and once I get make those holes I can actually secure my other rear cab mount here and we can just kind of go from there I kind of want to get this done because I'm I've been doing this all day and I'm really tired so I don't want to just hurry up, you know. Okay, so I gotta find the other cam mount, which is right here. Basically, uh, mount it right here uh, on this side. It's, it's kind of messed up because already, you know, between you know, with the air hammer and stuff, but it should be okay. Um, so kit comes with a bunch of kit comes with a bunch of hardware. Just your three eighths uh, bolts some uh, uh, regular washers, some lock washers, and the nuts. So 
Put over the two washers. Two. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm getting a lot of these metal splinters too. These things are a nightmare. I'm definitely going to have to blow out all my clothes before I go inside because that's the last thing I want is metal splinters all over my body when I go to take a shower or something. and the nut. It is really cold outside. Torqued down, so I, I just basically do it by hand, just to get them torqued down as hard as possible. With the 916th, these are the 916th bolts. down. Let's get this one. So, all right, now I got those torqued down. What I do, what I do is, uh, what you're supposed to do is on the other side here, you're supposed to just go ahead and drill through. All right, so now on the other side, as you can see, uh, all the, the bolt holes line up. All I have to do is drill in there. Put my eighth, eighth inch drill bit in here. 
get it started. To get it real started. Just kind of help it out a little bit. Ouch. See that? Not feel good. Okay, let's get some more nuts and bolts. Recording? Yes, you are. Okay. <clears throat> There's some, something sticking out there I need to get rid of. Get my file. What's up guys? This is the next day. Uh, it's currently Monday morning and as you can see here I got the uh, the frame basically cut down to a short bed um, length. You guys can see. Um, it's still supported by the j the three ton jack and I just got it moved under the frame right now just, just to shut the garage door. Um, so what I gotta do now is go ahead and put the template up to the back part of the frame there and uh, basically what, what I'll, I guess what I will be doing here is uh, cutting the uh, frame here basically the, the length of what a short bed frame frame would be uh, and the I got the template over there all ready to go and I just got to get set up and uh, start doing that Alright, for this part here, what the book says, because uh, I guess the short bed, the the frame ends right here. You still have like, like 8 inches right here that you need to cut out here. And it basically says to, uh, with, the, with the template upside down, you basically have to do like a scribe mark right here. So like, I don't know if I have a scribe, but I have like a... A screwdriver that might work and so what I'll do here is a basically like scribe it right, right here whoops make sure you're aligned all the way up it make sure you're aligned at the end of the bumper here too uh, okay so you can basically see the line there and then then you're supposed to take your uh, square And line it up with your scribe mark, and uh, I wish I had something a little better. Maybe a flathead. Like that. And then you just cut it. And it basically be the same thing on the other side. Well, from now I can just go get my uh, Saws off. Oh, uh, you're supposed to uh, as well. Like your this oval right here, that's the top of the template. I do believe you're supposed to scribe that out too. That's gonna that's gonna be like a top bolt or something. Uh, And 
Another part of this step is fabricating an oval hole where your stride marks are. Okay, so that's the oval hole. So, basically, what you could do here is you could scribe that. Or it could be like me and just spray paint it. Right? Does that make sense? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but yeah, that's where you're, I guess you're supposed to drill out that hole too. Uh, okay, so I got that part out of the way. Let's, uh, now I basically got to cut, cut the, where the scribe is. And then I'll drill out that hole right there. You guys are wondering, I do like to wear sweatpants in my garage. Because I like my garage to feel kind of cozy. Even though it's real dirty and cold in here. I got the heater running though. Basically, want to make sure you get all right. So now I'm to get my drill. I'm so glad that tools nowadays are pretty cheap. I just bought this uh, Ryobi uh, drill for only with two batteries, the charger, for 70 bucks at Home Depot. Can't beat that. Because my old Craftsman I had, uh, the battery, one of the batteries finally went out on it. And uh, it just, I think it was starting to, starting to deteriorate or something because um, this the part in here that would not ever hold it. It's always aggravating. All right, so they want you to basically drill the top of that uh, that hole out for the. Oh, okay, so the other part of the step is fabricating the oval hole where your scribe marks are, drilled out uh, half inch holes side by side, which I'm going to do here, connect them using a grinder, dremel, or a boring tool. As an option, you, you can make a single half inch hole aligned in the center of the, of the location of the oval scribe marks. This hole is your rear bed mounting hole and may need to and may need some amount of front to rear adjustment if you choose to make a single hole so I don't have to make a uh, I don't have to make two holes I can just do one um, I, I do believe I have a, uh, a Dremel tool but I'm not sure if I have the fittings for it um, Next, you will relocate the bumper mounting bracket holes with the template flipped upside down. Again, you will align the rear edge of the template with the rear of the cutoff frame. Once aligned, use the eighth inch drill and drill two holes marked bump. Okay, so... Uh, My other, my impact, which I'm using. Yeah, dude, I can't stand it. Like it. Oh. 
actually going to need to be over here. Okay, so basically take the template again. Uh, and you might, you put it you line it up basically right where the edge of the, the uh, template is make sure you line, line it up flush with the end of your newly cut bumper and there's two holes here that says bumper on the template and you basically just do your eighth inch hole which there's one there that one's there. The hell, they're already there. Okay, so I didn't really have to do that because it's already there. Those are already there. Huh. Maybe because this is a 72, they. That's kind of weird. So I don't have to worry about doing that. Cool. So now all I have to do is. I will drill two holes here. I'm actually gonna see if my if I have a Dremel Dremel bits. One second. Alright, so I can't for some reason I can't find my Dremel bits. Uh, I got one of those inner uh, inner inner Solrand uh, Dremel tools, an air an air Dremel tool basically. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just drill my one hole down the middle. And if I absolutely have to, I can come back. You know, because the bed, the rear bed is probably going to be one of the last things I do to this truck. Because I plan on uh, upgrading the uh, the rear shocks and all that stuff. I, I plan on uh, the uh, I believe that's the torsion bar or the the bar that connects to the middle of the uh, what's that bar called? It's called it's called like the the bend something I forget. But it basically makes the it keeps the the rear axle centered. So. What I'm going to do here, let's just drill right in the middle here. Same thing to that side, really quick. All right, so uh, one thing I would also highly re recommend doing this is from my own my own judgment here, my own idea is like after you cut the back of your frame here, you're gonna have all this exposed steel, you know. Um, I would like just get some some uh, epoxy paint, a black epoxy paint or something. This is left over from my 3000 build. And I would just, you know, spray some over the bare uh, spots there, just because, you know, try to prevent a little bit of rust. It's starting to get a little toasting here. Uh, so, you know, any bare spots here, like especially the holes you drilled there, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Just spray some in there, just on the edge, just kind of coat it a little bit. Any uh, rust spots here or any bare steel spots is a good idea. I might actually go through here and uh, put another coat of this stuff on all over the engine here. Here's a spot here that wasn't... Probably wouldn't do any harm. I still got a bunch of uh, steel chips in there. I'm going to need to blow out of there. There's a spot here. Just to get rid of the rust. I know it's kind of cold in this garage. It's probably not doing it, not a very good job doing this, but just a little coat. This stuff ain't gonna do any harm. Okay. And hell, I don't know what this hanger here is. I don't know if this is a muffler hanger here. I'm actually thinking about taking that out because it's just there's not one on the other side. I'm kind of curious to see, curious to see what that is. I don't know. It's probably just a muffler hanger, like I said. 
All right, so oh, so I guess I'm here in here too. Got some of my gas tank there. I'm actually still up in the air if I want to put like a, some kind of coating on the under, underside of my uh, gas tank. Maybe like a rubberized coating. Probably wouldn't hurt, you know. Also, oh yeah, I'm going to pull these back out here and I'm going to spray the front. So... All right, one of the final steps in this process is to uh, get your sheet channels in here. These, uh, This is basically what's going to hold your two pieces together. This is really thick steel. Um, all the bolt holes are pre-drilled for you, should be, and they should line right up to all of your... Uh, they should line up to your truck. And I'm just going through here, just double-checking that this one does. And I think I got... Switched here. Okay, yeah, this is it right here. So basically, this will go inside here. And it looks like all the bolt holes will line up. And you just basically put all your, nut, your nuts and bolts in here with your washers. Make sure you get all these in here because this is this is definitely a uh, major part of the uh, process here. Okay, I'm at the moment, basically the moment of truth now, where I have all the cutting done, everything basically done. Um, as you can see, I got the C, C channels in here bolted up all the way around. Yeah, I got it. There's six bolts uh, for each, you know, right there. Six bolts in here. All the way around. You guys need a ride? Yeah, please. Yeah, I probably won. Oh, I guess I'm getting the kids, the kids a ride to school. And so, now I got all this bolted in there. I have it. I have the cab mounts, the cab mounts and reinstalled uh, on both sides. I'm gonna, I probably ought to make, I'm gonna make sure and double check that uh, those are tightened out really well. And then I got the back side all drilled out. I'm definitely gonna probably uh, paint that fuel tank. I'm not sure if I like it, gr like the gray. And. Uh, yeah, I'm still debating if I want to cut this thing out. I don't know what that is. I think it's an exhaust hanger, so I'll probably get that out before sometime. Oh, actually, I'm not going to worry about that now. But yeah, I'm ready to go ahead and uh, slide this in there. i got to get it straightened in there first. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, push the truck into it and made it up. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around at the bottom of this cap first. <laughs> All right, so I got the uh, the C channels lined up inside of the the other frame, the front part of the frame. Um, my challenge now is to get the uh, rear cab mount uh, cab, cab mounts lined up and pushed all the way up in there. And one thing I, I didn't really think about when I did this is how how are you going to line up or to make sure that the back half the back half here is all you know it's perfectly square with the front you know so you know it's kind of hard to uh, to determine but 
What I can do now is, what I'm trying to do now is just, I'm trying to clear these uh, cab mounts right now. So, I give them a push. Not knocking everything over here. Kind of Alright, so at, at long last, I finally got the frame, the rear part of the frame, into the uh, front C channels. And we got it all bolted up. I will uh, climb down here and show you guys. Bear with me. Okay, so. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now you have your bolts, your four bolts there, and you got your four bolts here. Um, there's two bolts on top and bottom from up there, and I have the two bolts from the bottom there and uh, the top there, and it's the same thing on the other side as well. You can see what it looks like with all the bolts in there. Uh, now, I'm wondering, like these two bolts right here, I had the bolts going the opposite way because they're so close to together that I thought they were going to touch and I wouldn't be able to get them in there. So I just put the, shot them out the other way and I basically torqued them all down pretty tight. Now, uh, Brothers recommends that once you get this done, once you're getting once it's ready to drive, you put a, a weld all the way down here. All the way down here too, and I'm actually thinking about uh, seeing if if it's a smart thing to do to like on the inside, like an inside part, like over there, put like a, a weld on in the inside, perhaps. I wonder if that's okay. I might reach out to brothers and see if that's okay. I'm not quite sure, but uh, basically, you know, this is what it looks like when you're all done. Um, uh, apparently the holes lined up pretty well because when I put this in here, I slid, slid the C channel in there. Uh, I, I put a jack, my small uh, gray jack that's uh, right there. I lifted it up right in the middle just to make sure, just to uh, align it. And I took a level, and it was, well, it was basically level. So uh, all the holes lined up pretty good. So that tells me that this thing is basically uh, good to go. I'm still up in the air if I want to put like another bolt, like another bolt like right here. Um, I think it's gonna be fine. I ain't too worried about it, to be honest. So, but yeah, guys, that's what it looks like from the outside here and the inside, and uh, it's basically complete. All right, so this is the finishing product uh, for the finished product, I should say. Um, basically, uh, brothers, brothers trucks, uh, short long bed to short bed kit. I did it all myself. It's pretty easy. It took me about total time about I don't know five or six hours. Um, that was a lot of breaks inside too, so, uh, I think it looks pretty good, if you ask me. This is going to be pretty hot, it's going to be a pretty sexy freaking truck once I get all the panels back on it. Uh, don't mind all the bird's nest of wireies, that's just a temporary mock-up. Um, but yeah, this is my short bed. I'm, I can officially say it's a, a short bed, not a long bed anymore. I hated saying a long bed. I know my, most, a lot of you guys are like, oh my god, you cut it. No, it's it's going to be worthless now, but ah, it'll be fine. My trans cooler is just temporarily up there. I had to figure out a way to mount that to the radiator. Uh, those four, like thing those zip up things that come with it are not working for some reason i can't figure i can't figure them out so i gotta research that so 
But yeah, don't mind the wiring. That's just a temporary thing here. I'm actually thinking about rebuilding this engine already. <laughs> just, or actually, I might just uh, put new heads on it actually, because these are low flow peanut port heads. And my uh, intakes for oval port heads, and I wasn't thinking, I didn't know any better. So I might actually think about investing in some aluminum, aluminum heads for this thing. I don't know. But anyway, this is a beautiful truck. Oh, that's a short bed. That's pretty hot. Definitely gonna have to get like a lowering kit for this thing. Tell me what you guys think. If you like this video, uh, ring me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.